Hey guys, Tech Smart Homes here. What I have here is an Acara wireless mini switch. It uses a Zigbee network, uh, so it can connect to an Acara hub if you have one in your home. Um, I'll be using the Acara hub along with Home Assistant for some fun automations. Stay tuned for the unboxing so I can show you what all is inside and how I'm going to use it. A couple different videos coming up. Alright guys, this is the car wireless mini switch. Zigbee device that needs a, a car hub or a Zigbee hub. That is the adhesive backing that comes with it. Pull it on out of here. There's our switch. And there's our instructions manual. Switch is just a little single press. It has a tab that you'll need to remove for the battery to be used. It also has the adhesive backing. Like I said, you can just pop that on a wall. All right, so before we get started, I'm going to remove that insert. After you've removed that insert covering the battery, you'll want to long press that button on the top right there for as long as the instructions say to pair it to the Acara hub. Now that I've paired the Acara wireless mini switch with the Acara hub, I took off this from the adhesive backing that's on the back of the switch and I've just placed it on the wall. The reason I chose that height is I want it to be available for my toddler to be able to easily pop that button and turn the lights on in this room. The main purpose this will solve is that when my toddler walks into the room, she'll press that button and the lights will instantly come on. Doesn't have to worry about a voice command where she has to remember what to say. Doesn't have to try and jump up and hit those light switches. Just tap a button. Let's go potty. All right, guys, I've got my wireless mini switch connected to my home assistant instance, as well as the Acara hub. Using that connection, I've created a few automations. Uh, that way the guests, they can come in here and have lights like what we're seeing right now. But if my toddler comes in, they can turn the lights off by simply pressing the button. Then in the middle of the night, if they need to turn it on, a single press sets the mood just right for the way they like the lights. Now, single press again will turn it off. A double press will bring us to a more comfortable white light. Uh, that way my wife and toddler uh, can enjoy their time in here and not have to worry about it being too bright if we're getting ready in the morning or in the evening. All right, for our final option, we have the ability to long press this button to trigger another automation. The automation that I've chosen is gonna be a safety-based feature. If anything were to occur and our child needs to alert us at any point, they can now long press this button and release it, and it's going to trigger an alert on all media devices in the house that have the speaker ability and announce a message. Watch this. Bathroom emergency button pressed. Check on child. Not only that, but I could further customize this so that we get push notifications to our phones. We could also have it so that the master bedroom lights turn on at full brightness and other automations that would really light up the house to let us know, hey, it's time to go check on something. That emergency button has been pressed. If you guys like this or you like the Acara mini switch and you want to know more information about how it works or the automations I've set up, feel free to reach out, drop a comment, feel free to like and subscribe. I'm happy to give information on the things that I do and look forward to more videos with y'all.